All right, so we're back. We're uh, actually, this is something that was commented on on one of our other videos. It was spray the ants with peroxide. This comes from Muscle Cars of Florida and more, or Muscle Cars Florida and more. All right, so let me zoom in on the ants. You see these things are going crazy. Oh, that's perfect. You can see them all over. Try and get it like right there. So it's Matt, uh, just Quentin and I am back. Just regular hydrogen peroxide. Yes. Um, something's happening. They're all climbing on top of the branches now. Now are they doing that to get away from hydrogen peroxide or just because there's moisture or the water coming down on top of them? Uh, I don't know. Over here, oh, you can't really see. Hold on, hold on. We've got some over here. Turn this real quick. They're doing the same thing over here, but we didn't spray any peroxide over in this area. But here, we, they're all over. Oh, wait, 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 what is that? What's going on there? Right there. I don't know, I really think it's just... I think it's just making a mad. Yeah, I really do. Now we'd have to come back maybe in a, little, in a day or so and see if it actually kills the whole, you know. Well, you know what? Yeah. So just coat it and see what happens. It may not be an instant nah. thing, it might be a... Peroxide works pretty quick though. I think it's like a cut, you know, you put peroxide like Put peroxide on my finger. Actually, I got a fresh cut today. Well, hold on. Put it on my finger first. You know, see on my finger, no foam at all. And it's pretty quick. Look how fast it foams up on a cut. It's already foaming up, even though you're still pouring it on. So see, no foam, and he's got foam. So yeah, it's already extremely foam. Well, peroxide does not seem to affect ants any more than water does. Well, I say we pour more on it. Go ahead. <laughs> Shoot it down in the hole. Hold on. There you go. Now we're just sinking the ant hole. I mean, it's really not doing anything. They're spreading out like water. Wildfire, just like they would with water. Look at them all come out right there. Yeah, you just squirted them all. Wait, watch, watch. Right here. Oh, here they come. Over here. Oh, they're coming out over here now. Holy crap. Whoa. Look at it bubbling over here. Yeah, look at the bubbles. I wonder... Oh, I wonder if the... What do they call it? The brood or the babies? I wonder Maybe. If it's, I wonder if it's affecting the babies. Because that's Maybe. a lot of bubbles. Wait, do you hear that? It sounds like it's gurgling. It's actually gurgling. Oh, well, that's pretty much it, guys. I don't see anything happening. It's no, I mean, there's bubbles coming up, but I don't know if that's just from the air in the ground or, I think it's just the air in the ground. It is gurgling though. Well, I got a whole bottle here, so. Yeah, yeah. Into it. Well, it's pouring out. You can, yeah, it's just bubbling. That could be the tiny organisms in the dirt, too. Yeah. But it is actually foaming up if you look it, like right it, oh here. Oh, yeah, it is. Look at that. Oh, look over here, too. It's actually foaming up. I don't know how close I can get to this right in there. Let's see. You can actually see the bubbles. I mean, they're wet, but they don't look as lively as they were when we first started. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, water alone. I've noticed with ants alone. Uh, have you ever seen them, like, have you ever 
got a huge clump of them and put them in water. Mm -mm. Oh, it is so cool. They they all bridge together. Oh. It is still gurgling. Yeah, it's bubbling. Well, you did pour a whole bottle. It's all gone. All right, well, it does something to the dirt, but not the ants. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.